With modern-day farming equipment looking like something used by NASA and vintage machinery looking like something out of a steampunk convention, it leaves many of us wondering, what in the sandhills is that? Which brings us to another edition of What is That and What Does It Do? with News Channel Nebraska's exclusive ag reporter, Andy Klassen. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of What Is It and What Does It Do? We're in Verdigree, Nebraska today and I caught up with Alex Bodison. You work for Herbert Feed and Grain, is that right? That's correct. All right, and I came by your shop here and I saw this crazy attachment on your side-by-side. Uh, -side. So without further ado, what is this and what does it do? This actually is a Wintex 2000 soil probe. Uh, we use it for taking soil samples in the fall and or spring. And uh, we can, I mean, it's, as you can see, it's fully automated. It's hydraulic probe. It keeps us from having to use one of these bad boys. It saves our back a little. So... Um, so it saves a little heck of a lot of time taking a bunch of different uh, soil samples, but uh, why exactly do you need to take all these soil samples? Is it part of like a precision ag so you know exactly what to put on the ground? That's correct. Actually, we use this uh, automated soil sampler a lot more for uh, grid sampling. That way, you know, we're, we're taking a lot more cores. We're doing, you know, an acre or one sample does two and a half acres instead of one sample for the whole field. So we can get fertilizer where we need it and you know, help try and achieve higher yields for our growers. So not only does it play a kind of a pivotal role in the precision ag and you guys uh, getting good prescriptions out to your farmers, it also saves your back and saves a heck of a lot of time. Is that right? That's correct. It's much faster and much easier on the body. You get to ride around in a cool side-by-side -side all day instead of jumping on a soil probe trying to get in the hard ground. And then one thing else I, I heard about it, um, and I don't know if it's true or not, but, you know, people think we're out here in the sticks and time kind of leaves us, you know, we're, we're, we're left behind. But this is the only one of these in the state of Nebraska, and it, it came from overseas. Is that right? That's correct. It's actually made by a company over in Denmark, and we're the last time when we bought it, we were the current only ones in the state that had one. So it's state-of-the-art, and it's probably the best thing you can have for soil sampling. That's making quite an investment, you know, in the quality of the work that you guys do for your farmers and then on down the line as well. So, Alex, thanks for taking a minute and explaining that to us all. For Andy Klassen, for News Channel Nebraska, this has been another What Is It and What Does It Do?